Hi Tarot Lovelies, it's Ethany and it is First Impressions Friday, which means, or you all know what that means, that means I have a new deck to share with you um, and something that we're going to explore together and my goodness, have I got a treasure for you. Um, I have was sent this beautiful package, I've got lots on my table, we've got the Wild Messengers tarot deck now this was a very had a very successful kickstarter campaign and i was sent the whole pack i got sent the um the wild messengers look at this fucking book i'm all for a good book i love i mean i love books so they're everywhere in my house um it's shiny it's hardcover it looks go absolutely absolutely gorgeous um 2.22 percent profits go for habitat for restoration uh, which i love um this is a first edition so we got these two now this um you know i like to let you know whether i purchase things or whether they get sent to me this one was sent to me by the lovely creators of the wild messengers deck so we have uh, lola pickett um who created this and uh the art was with uh tanya castile i said that right yep castile look at the shiny i'm like such a pigeon um magpie and i also got a reading cloth so I got sent this gorgeous pack and we're going to go through all of it together. So now I'm going to switch over cameras and we're going to discover this. The wild, I oh know, it's like, look at this goodies. I can't even hold it in one hand. And I feel very like, because I'm wearing my jellyfish today. I love my jellyfish. Uh, it feels very like apt. Um, but we're going to go over and check out this deck, walk through it and discover the wild messengers tarot deck together. Okay, so now we're going to go through the Wild Messengers, our chemical tarot, and I've taken everything out of the plastic so it's a little bit easier, and oh my gosh, I want to put this on my face. It's so beautiful. It's so silky. I want to wear it as a scarf. I want to be, the, oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm loving everything about this galaxy print. Get it, got it, love it, want it. So I'm going to pop it lovingly in the back there and then we're going to go through the, the deck first and then we're going to go through the book and holy shit, what a book. What a book, what a book, what a book, what a mighty good book, what a mighty, mighty good book. This is a book. This puts, this is like, damn son. It's amazing. So we're going to go, I love, I love books. So I'm a bit, so let's have a look at the, uh, the tarot deck. So 78 cards plus two wild cards. It's got that gorgeous rainbow holographic <clears throat> shimmer. Okay. May your journey and exploration bring healing, awareness, compassion, and kindness to all who cross your path. So lovely box. That's the bottom of the box. Look at these backs. The backs have this gorgeous, oh, so tactilely pleasing. It's lovely. <clears throat> okay. The Fool. I love watercolor. Um, I have a, behind me in my art cupboard, I have just a ton of watercolors. Now, uh, cardstock, so the back, so everything that is not this beautiful um, matte, like the embossing, is it embossing? I think so. Um, has a matte, a really lovely matte finish. It's 350 GSM, <clears throat> the alchemist, and so the magician. And this is a animal deck, the healer, a moose. And what's also cool is, that, like, this is also, well, it's a moose, but there's, you can kind of do some Rorschachy stuff with this. Like, what are you seeing in the shapes of the void? What are you seeing in the shapes of the color? Um, you know, if you turn it upside down, do you see something else? If you read reversals, I don't, but I know lots of people do. Gaia. <clears throat> so this has its own structure. We are finding here the Elder. The Emperor, Ram, but again, nods to the structure of the tarot with that Ram's head on the Emperor's throne. 
the oracle instead of the hierophant. This beautiful constellations in the background. Divine union instead of the lovers. It's very beautiful. This was on Kickstarter. I think I mentioned that on my first video. The part one journey is the chariot, but we have the horse, which of course we have um, sphinxes carrying the chariot in the rider weight smith or pulling the chariot. But in a lot of chariot cards, we do see the horse. Power as a buffalo. Lynx retreat. If I'm getting the animals wrong, do uh, bear with me. Oh, Destiny is a jellyfish floating around with the currents. Not really, you know. That Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> Karma. Praying Mantis. The Bat for Shift. It's the Hanged Man. That's Justice. Rebirth as Death. Integration for temperance. Trickster for the raven or the crow, depending on where you are and if you have ravens or crows. Initiation as the snake, the striking snake. So that's the uh, tower, I believe. Star. That bang was my son. <laughs> the moon. And the panther. And then the sun. A beautiful eagle, which has a lot of solar power energy. Choice as the owl. Love. Oh. Turtle is home to the world. Um, lots of turtles have been used in sort of like the universe or the world cards and I actually really love it for a lot of reasons because of the medicine and the magic of the turtle but also because of the discworld <laughs> image of the turtle that I get. <clears throat> the soul card. Oh, this might be the soul of fire. Or wand. How is this? Oh, it's elemental, yeah. Earth, water. This is air. Yeah, this is air. Okay. I was just having a look through them. Um, so now we have the soul, the two, oh, ladybug. I love ladybugs, they make me happy. Anytime I see a ladybug, I just get like immediately happy. <clears throat> Four koala. Five. Bear. Bear. I'm a bear. Mountain goat, number six. Seen these goats actually like bash horns together in the Rockies. It was the noise it made. It sounded like a gunfire going, gun going off. Elefante. Seven. Eight. Nine. Tortoise, 10. So now we have the court, one of my favorite parts of any tarot deck. The seeker for the page. That's a beautiful, look at that skunk. Doesn't smell so great when you get to it, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous image. The initiate for the fox for the knight. Makes lots of sense. The teacher for the hawk and taking place of the queen and the master for the king and we have the spider okay five 
fire. Did I get that wrong? I clearly have not had a lot of sleep. I believe that's fire. Basic Elements 101 and Anthony is struggling like a mofo. I'm still sick, haven't slept. Now, I believe these are fire. I apologize, that was all air. Um, this is air, I believe. No, I was right. This is fire. <laughs> I apologize to the creator Lola Pickett for going on some random like elemental thing <laughs> that I'm like, what? Clearly having a moment. Um, I was right. So we have the solar fire, which is the dragonfly. The two for the swan. The three for the, looks like a bobcat. Maybe, because every big cat, all the lines are different under the eyes for different reasons. Um, like the black under the eyes to reduce glare so they can see and hunt their prey. But all the patterns on every big cat mean something completely different. Blue Jay for number four, so pretty. So as you can see, there is no writing on this except for, there is no words. No words. <clears throat> so this is going to be great for people who really want to dig in and learn a new system because this is really what this feels like. It feels like a new system, something that you are going to, Flamingo, that's gorgeous, commit your time to learning and understanding and um, chameleon uh, really learn because if you had the eight of fire chameleon well the eight of fire to me is the eight of wands which is swift movement but chameleons aren't really that fast so or the nine of fire here i believe that's a hummingbird so the nine of wands is endurance that makes sense for a hummingbird but for me it's like i feel like this is a, a new system uh i'd love to see what other people think but chimpanzee, the 10 of fire. And you have it as elementals now and elements and not um, the suits as they are in the Rider Waite Smith. And I'm sure it's actually addressed fully in the guidebook, which I haven't had a look at. The Seeker of Fire, Leopard. The Initiate of Fire is beautiful macaw. And if this is the same one as Rio, the bird from Rio, I'm pretty sure they just went extinct. Humans, you suck. We're not great. We really are just the worst. The teacher of fire. And then the master of fire. So beautiful. The lion and the lioness. Could it be anything, any different animal than the lion and the lioness for uh, fire? I don't think so. <laughs> now we have water. The soul, the hippo. And I like that we've got the hippo here because water can be destructive and hippos are the most dangerous animals in Africa. They are highly territorial. They can move extremely quickly. They can crush cars like with their, the, jaw, the sheer jaw power they have. One of my favorite animals of all time, the otter. I could go to the uh, Vancouver Aquarium and just watch the, the sea otters play for hours. The beaver, the three. water the narwhal for what a unicorn for the four oh lightning bugs for five albatross for the six of water the hour is so pretty the seven the octopus I would have to rewire my brain, I think, for this deck. The Eight of Water, the Polar Bear, I'm going to say. Salmon for the Nine of Water. Dolphin for the Ten, I like that a lot. Love all these. Um, all of the different constellations in a number of the cards we're seeing here. The Seeker. The heron, 
the initiate, the manta ray. One of the things that is on my bucket list is to go swimming with manta rays. I've swum with turtles, seals, dolphins, sharks, whale sharks, manta rays. It's on my list. The teacher, the humpback whale. <clears throat> And then the master's probably a blue whale fin tail, sorry. Oh, little monkey. So cute. The soul of earth. Look at that little face. A sloth. Oh. I remember when um, this show in, in Australia was called Talk to the Animals in the 90s. I think and it was like um, the theme song went if I could talk to the animals just imagine it chatting with a chimp or chimpanzee uh, you know and I'm sure that's like a song song but anyway I was like somebody tell me I I'm, my initial thought was like this show is gonna tell me how to actually speak to animals I'm gonna get all Dr. Doolittle up in this business I was so excited and then it was more like National Geographic and I was like oh um I do like that sort of stuff anyway. I watch a lot of National Geographic, but I, I love, I love the animals. I always wanted to talk to them, like proper talk to them. Animal communication is something you can do. I just thought that they would be like talking back to you like a TV show or a cartoon. Not the way that that happens, little mouse. Five, a hummingbird. Oh, so maybe it wasn't a hummingbird in the other one. Froggy, six of earth, I love frogs. B, seven, pollination, harvest, eight, raccoon, resourceful, trash panda, trash pandas are everywhere around here. Squirrel, nine, so cute, they're also around here. Oh, the 10, the peacock. Beautiful. Connected to the goddess Hera. Seeker. There's like another raven or, or a crow. Initiate the vulture. Ugly, ugly animal. I've seen them. Not pretty. Very necessary. Uh, but not pretty. Not pretty. <laughs> they got hit with the ugly stick a few hundred times. Uh, teacher. The rabbit. The master. I love. Oh. Gorillas are amazing. In Werribee, in um, Victoria, they have an open uh, safari zoo, uh, wildlife park, and they have gorillas. And seeing a silverback gorilla for the first time in real life, I tell you, it took my breath away. They are just unreal animals. Unreal. We have the dragon. <coughs> These are our uh, extra cards. And then the, griff uh, the griffin. This is your initiation to stop, drop and breathe. Invitation to stop, drop and breathe. Love it. We'll put that up somewhere to, re to remember to stop, drop and breathe. As you can see too, the Titles and the numbers are different colored depending on the suit, which is really cool. It's a nice uh, quick way to To understand where you're at to have a look and The only titled cards we have are the court and the major arcana <clears throat> So now we're going to have a look at the guidebook Can you See that hang on let's just push that back for a sec so it's hardcover, it's you, uh, everything and everything is you. We dedicate this book, oh beautiful, backers, friends, family, animals, it's the first edition. So these are all the animals. So I did get a few of them. Oh, it was a bobcat. That oh, was a swallow that I got wrong. 
should have noted from the tail, right? So these are uh, the... Oh, look, B! Teresa! <laughs> it's like when you go through, you're like, I know that name. I know that name. Okay, so welcome to the wild. The notes on the cards and guidebook. Minor Arcana, Alchemy and Tarot. So we have the a little bit about the elements. Lots of spreads. Hearing other wild messages, card reversals. <clears throat> they do it like me, the upside down or shadow, even though I, I pull things up right. So we have all of this color. I'm not going to flip through all of it, but I just want to show you how beautifully designed this book is. Invocation. So it was a coyote, not a wolf. We have coyotes here too. I can often look out my window on the evening, evening and see coyotes. Dear one, what could be possible if you had no limiting beliefs? This reminds me of how well um, the uh, Sacred Creators Oracle Guidebook was done by Chris Ann Donnelly. It makes a lot of... Uh, Look how much work you get on each one of these cards. Like that is, this is a, this is actually like a book book, a proper like animal magic book. <laughs> so absolute freaking kudos to Lola. Like, holy crap. Um, reflecting prompts. And it has. Uh, 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 it has a beautiful ribbon as well. So you can, I love those. So let's have a look from. Okay, so now I'm going to have a look at the something from the Minor Arcana. So we have the Mountain Goat. So we have two pages each for each. So we still have an Invocation, a Seven of Air, Elephant Speaks, and Remember. And then we have Use Discernment and Trusting Your Instincts when Choosing a Guide or Mentor. So there's still a lot of... Oh, I need badges. I love badges. <clears throat> okay. And again, see on here, we have... You can easily... Find Major Arcana, Air, Fire, Water, Earth. Let's have a look at that's at the back here. Then we have the two mythical creatures. Treasure map spread, dragon. Oh, that's cool. Dragon's Lair. Ooh, that's really cool. All of these beautiful spreads. There's quite a number of them. Hang on. And they're beautifully designed too. Everything in this is beautifully designed. Well done. So, Messengers in the Wild, something that I learned from uh, Scott Alexander King, actually. Um, that's very cool. There's so much in here. I'm just having a flick through. And then we have the Creators. This is a summary of elemental energies that play in alchemy. So there's Lola. There's Tanya Castile, who's the artist. And then we've got Tiger Pickett. So that must be Lola's partner. Just gorgeous. And then we have resources and then notes. Love me a good bibliography. <laughs> And then websites, lots of resources of facts. Look at that. There's just heaps in here. And then an index. This is so well done. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am, um, I just went through everything that we got. I'm just going to, in the guidebook, so I'm just going to quickly do a shuffle. They shuffle beautifully as well. C huge congratulations to Lola um, and Tanya. This is utterly stunning. I'm a purple. Purple is my favourite colour. I have nearly everything in purple. Um, I know I'm not alone in that. Um, the flamingo. You know. <laughs> Want to know an embarrassing story? And if you guys... I should do like a, um, like a, uh, what is it called? A thing, like a bet. Like if I can raise, 
if I can raise, I'm going to tell you the embarrassing story. It was like, if I can raise so much money for charity, I'll sing this song for you because I have files, files. They're at my friend's house in Australia and I need to go and like get the rest of my stuff and bring it over here. It's been six years for goodness sake. But, um, I wrote tons of poetry and tons of songs. I so wanted to be a pop star. I really did. Um, and one is called the Flamingo. <laughs> And the song has just come back into my head and it's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so let's see what they say about the flamingos in here. It's clearly not going to be my terrible lyrics that my 15 year old self <laughs> wrote. Um, the word that aligns with the flamingo energy is visibility. Dare to be seen for all of who you are in this moment. It's time to shine as your wild, spectacular, weird, brilliant self. Free yourself from doubt by emerging from retreat and reveling, revealing yourself in all your glory. Flamingo is telling you it's time to burn brightly. Well, you know, that's pretty apt. My book just came out and I'm being very visible um, in the community. The other thing about this deck is this year at Tarot Summer School, I'm doing um, Animals and Tarot is my course. And what's funny is I'm also doing the animals, I've grouped them in elements. Uh, I think that's very normal for people who work with alchemy or magic or the craft. Very different, it's not gonna be, this is the first time I've seen this. Um, we all have something to share and say. And summer school, as if any of you have known, it's not something that's like, it's, a, it's a, like a workshop program. It's an online conference. It's a summer school program, like summer camp for tarot nerds. So it's not meant to be something where it's like, this is how I'm positioning myself to know everything about that. It's meant to be like, we're doing this workshop together. But anyway, I'm going to be able to share this deck as well at summer school. So it came at a really good time. This is stunning. This is a beautiful, extremely well thought out, well researched, beautifully presented, well packaged, knocked it out of the fucking ballpark. Congratulations to everyone who worked on this. Um, I can't wait for, for everyone to watch this uh, and for it to get out there more. I will place in the description below where you can support the work of Lola. And as I mentioned before, when you support, there's also profit going to much needed animal conservation programs. So um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.